What's up, world? I'm Dr. Duder. No, I'm not a real doctor, but I am a vet tech. In this video, I'm going to go over how to do sedated sex x rays. We sedate the patients to help take x rays without having to struggle to keep them in place. It also allows us to stand away from the x ray when taking images in order to avoid exposure to radiation. This handsome fellow right here is having some upper respiratory issues. So the doctor wants to take a look inside to see what's going on. Since he already has an IV catheter, I'm just going to give him the drugs that way. First, I'll slowly inject the drugs into the IV catheter. Then flush the IV catheter with saline to make sure all of the drugs flow into the dog's vein. We do this so they work instantly. Once he's sedated, I'll cut the lights off in the room because light and noise can cause the dog to react and wake up when it's sedated. After I get him on the table, I'll put some lube in his eyes. Since he's sedated, he may not be able to blink and his eyes can get dry, which can cause an ulcer. I'll also give him some oxygen to help him breathe. Next, I'm gonna measure the highest point of the dog's body that's gonna be in the x-ray to make sure that it gets the right amount of exposure. The first x-ray I'm doing is the ventral dorsal image where the dog lies on his back on a V-shaped trough to help keep him in place with his body straight and his head in between his forelimbs or his front legs. This x-ray should start at the thoracic inlet or near his neck and end near the end of his rib cage to ensure all of his lungs are in the image and his heart as well. I'll make sure to get the dog centered in the light with the ventral line of the collimator light going down the center of his chest. Once I have him in position, I'll place my marker next to him to indicate which side is his right side. I'll get behind the glass to cover it, used to protect me from the radiation of the x-ray since I'm now wearing a radiation suit. I use a foot pedal from behind the cover wall to take the x-ray. Since this man is getting a chest x-ray and he's having a respiratory issue, I want to catch the x-ray just as he breathes out to make sure his lungs are expanded in the x-ray. You want to do this for every ventral dorsal image when you're taking a chest x-ray. After I take my x-ray, I check to make sure it looks good and everything's in good position. This guy's a big dog, but luckily I was able to still get his thoracic inlet and all of his lungs in the image. The black space you see are his lungs. Next, I'm gonna take my left lateral x-ray. Left lateral meaning the dog is laying on his left side. I carefully roll him on his side by slowly turning the trough and rolling him off of it. Remember to be careful because too much movement and noise can cause him to react and wake up. What the hell going on in here? Since he keeps popping his head up, I use beanbags to keep his head weighed down. I don't put the weight on his neck, but around it. Next, I'll extend his forelimbs and tie and clamp them in place. This view will also start as thoracic inlet and end at the end of his rib cage. I'll also measure the height of his chest while he's in this side of his body and adjust the exposure of this x-ray. Wait a minute now, what y'all doing? I'll use the left marker to indicate that this is a left lateral x-ray. Once he's in place, I'll get behind the cover and take the image. The 
third dimension is the right lateral or right side down. I don't roll him over on his back because he's a big dog and rolling on his back can cause a blow, which would give him bigger problems. Instead, I'll shift his back legs by turning him on his stomach instead of turning him on his back. I'll do the front next, being careful not to wake him up but also hold his head in place. I repeat the same steps to take the left lateral, except that I use my right marker to show it as a right lateral. After I've finished taking all my x-rays, I'm then gonna crop all the extra parts out of the mouth that I don't need, and also place all my markers in since this guy was too big and they weren't able to fit in the image. When my x-rays are all set and they look good, I send them off to the radiologist to get approved. These test x-rays are brought to you by Dr. Doodurl. Y'all know the vibes, like and subscribe.